I'm here in Palo Alto, California, outside the offices of Facebook. You know, 200 million people use the site to keep track of their friends, check their calendars, and even kick back and play some games. I have a feeling for a programmer, being the guy behind this might just be the best job ever. So why don't you start off by telling us who you are and what you do. I'm Bobby Johnson. I am Director of Engineering at Facebook. So I'm responsible for scaling the site and making it perform well. So as we're adding you know, this huge number of users every day, um, basically building all the software that makes that continue to run and continue to run fast. How many people are on Facebook now? Uh, we're close to 200 million now. Wow. So you've got 200 million people, and when you launch something like Facebook Live, like what happens at the office before you launch something that huge? You know, our scale is so big already that a lot of things aren't a blip. But like the Obama one actually was a big deal. We had to uh, basically figure out how many people were going to be on, build up networks, build up backends. Uh, that was all brand new code we'd written in a month to do this. So we had to uh, test all of that in a big hurry. That's how basically everything happens. It was, uh, you know, we'll do this thing. We have hackathons where people, you know, every, every couple months we'll get together and we'll stay up all night working on. The only rule is it's not something that's actually your job. Um, and Facebook chat, Facebook video, both just grew out of this. A few people thought, hey, it would be great if we could, you know, if we had this feature. Obviously, part of your job is, is hiring new engineers. And what do you look for in a candidate as far as core competencies? Well, the number one thing is programming. We're looking for people who are really good at programming, who do a lot of programming, who just love to write code because we write a lot of code. And as I said, we move really fast here. Uh, we're also looking at people who are ready to jump into new things, try stuff. People work up and down the stack. Because you know, we might be one day the front, the front of the site some PHP, JavaScript, CSS. Those are one day you might be working on that. The next day you might be writing C code for a backend service. So you really have to kind of be like a jack of all trades to to code for a site like Facebook. Yeah, absolutely. Because we're still really small. It's less than 200 people in engineering. That's a programmer for every million people on the site. What do you like the most about the job? I mean, obviously, there, there are some long hours and there are some stressful times. But what like, makes you wake up in the morning and go, I'm going to Facebook today. This is awesome. It's a chance to actually change the lives of almost 200 million people. That many people use it. They love it. And you get to work on this. You know, I can write code today and have people using it in a week. And 200 million people, everybody I know, this is something that, you know, has a really big effect on people's lives. Notice that when Bobby was talking about prospective employees, he didn't just say somebody that can code, he said somebody that loves to code. Aptitude may get you through the door, but once you're sitting in the interview, there's no substitute for a genuine passion for what you do. Don't just show that you're qualified, show that you're ready to bring fresh ideas to the table every day, just like they do at Facebook. And if coding for a site like Facebook is your passion, don't forget that our sponsor, Dice.com, has literally thousands of available positions listed for engineers. Just go to Dice.com and search for engineer or check out the featured listings next to this video.